hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ifealako thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for continuing to support me on my youtube journey thank you so much without further ado let's just get right into today's topic all right guys um as you can see from today's title today is really gonna be like an update video so if you did not know i've been away from youtube now for about three weeks plus and guys it was not deliberate it was not something that i wanted to do i genuinely enjoy making videos on youtube it's just a way i can express myself connect with people just with people i absolutely absolutely love it so what had happened was I had some you know life changes things that happen you know in my real life <laughs> so that was actually what led to the break initially so what had happened was um, I had changed jobs and then my schedule changed from what it was at my previous job so I had to you know find a way to balance it out because you know um, and then again like I was moved from the mainland to the island so like I had to um, figure out my schedule basically because I was not sure how I was gonna work like you know waking up early in the morning to try to get work and all that shenanigans and by the time I'd figured it out like you know I'd joined um, the staff boss I didn't need to drive to work anymore by the time I'd figured all of that out then I started to have um, technical issues um my app the editing app i use was just not cooperating with me anymore like all of that like everything was just like going on at the same time so by the time i was like okay you know i've been able to figure something out then then came answers um guys if you do not know what answers is um i'm going to you know do a quick introduction about what it was all about and um, I'm going to also leave some links in the de description box so that you can support so that you can read more do your own research because I one thing I realized was that there was a lot of fake news going on during this period and people are already agitated so you do not need fake news to make people more agitated <sighs> SARS means um, special anti-robbery squad so yeah so it's not the flu or anything it's special anti-robbery squad and basically they were set up in 1992 to help curb you know the menace in society so there were increasing cases of armed robbery increasing cases of vehicle theft increasing cases of um kidnapping you know the whole the whole bit so this squad was set up to you know manage that and over time they grew to become monsters for lack of better words so what they were what they were doing was they were profiling young people so young people let's say between the ages of uh maybe 21 to 35 i mean and even if you are 40 and you look in that age bracket just know that you're going to be you're going to be harassed by the sales people and so what they would do is like they would just look at you and be like oh okay he drives a Benz oh okay he has an iPhone oh I see oh he has a laptop oh I see and then they're going to you know extort money from you and if you do not have money that's bad because they are now going to you know arrest you for no absolute reason and in some cases they end up killing some of these people so we have families that they know that their son was arrested they get to the station and then they are given a dead body like it's crazy guys like I've, i have i remember during this whole NSAS period it really like affected me i would say mentally because it was a lot of information it was a lot to consume all at the same time guys the youths we said we're tired you know what we can't do this anymore people are dying for no reason you know parents are losing their children over nothing as i can't imagine as a parent you know being happy that oh my child is doing well in life you know and then somebody is hating because of that and goes ahead to arrest him and extort money from him like it makes absolutely absolutely no sense at all so the youth were tired and before you know it protests were organized 
all around the country it started in lagos i believe and then in lagos you are having like different parts in lagos and before you know it you know <laughs> the economy could not function as much which i think is a small price to pay you know for what we're you know clamoring for because so there was now traffic and all of that and you know people were people were <laughs> shout out to the nigerian youth i feel like this period was I need to I need to be honest I'm not 100% proud of Nigeria as it were but I'm proud of the Nigerian people if that makes sense especially the youth like their tenacity like there were people that slept on the protest ground we had people that came through we had people that uh, the things that our government could not do it was done in a matter of days like there was a lawyer database we had medical team people as in there was food I don't drink beer. <laughs> there was food. There was there was security. Like which are the basic things that we are asking the government for. And if there's one thing I've learned is that you cannot wait till it happens to you. Once it has happened to one of us, it has happened to all of us and we need to fight. We need to stand together. If there's anything this answers but has taught me is that there is power in number there is power in unity so the protest was going really well you know until 20th october 2020 so basically protesters were shot um so the government lagos state government put a curfew uh, put a curfew for 4 p.m. The announcement was made around 12 and Later on the coffee was extended till 9 p.m. So the people at the lucky toll gate um, Were shot at and shout out to DJ switch. She was like the hero of the day because even though for I saw I, I was at her Instagram live a lot of people were at her Instagram live and we witnessed the most imaginable and you know basically people died the army shot at people and people died and um i think what hurt me the most is that i believe even though they didn't break the coffee because the coffee was already extended but let's just say for argument's sake, right? They did break that coffee. Let's just say for as if for argument's sake. Is death the penalty for breaking a coffee? That's just what I want to know. Is death the penalty for breaking a coffee? Is it? It's ridiculous. We have the state government saying something the army saying something else the state government the army saying the 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 legal state government asked them to intervene and you know there's just back and forth and so the resultant effect of that was that you know there was a 72 hour three days curfew um the coffee was extended for three days um and then we now had you know some hoodlums that used that opportunity to take the sweat and hard work of honest you know working people destroy their shops and all of that and I mean it basically went down from there there's no there's a form of normalcy right now for the most part but um why did I really dive into all of this number one I respect every single person that follows me that supports me even if it's just one person honestly um I'm not I didn't I didn't come on YouTube because I want to be famous <laughs> that would be cool <laughs> at some point but as in my to be honest i just really enjoy you know talking to the camera you guys 
and it's really fun for me it's a way i express myself and i feel like you guys can see a lot of my personality and it's good to you know just enjoy yourself give information to people help people in any way that you can and so when i had the, um you know like the technical issue by the time i was able to resolve everything when this whole nsas thing came i could not bring myself to record anything again nothing i, I just couldn't i was not in the right frame of mind to do anything like that but i would say right now the fight is still on we are not going to give up yes the protests have been <laughs> i would say suspended because i mean that's what the government has indirectly done by placing the curfew and all of that but i'm just so proud of the progress we have made no matter how little it is and so yeah that's that about that so now I'm going back to regular programming okay i'm going to be giving videos every i'm going to be dropping a video every single week guys every single week. i can't ugh, i hate to be sad or be anything like that ugh, like my default spirit personality is hyped happy okay so when i you know when i'm shedding a tear or something just like ugh, this is not me i do not want to be sad i like i'm a happy person in general so yeah that's about that guys so expect more videos from me and again i'm so so grateful to everybody that reached out to me every single person that's like if you where's our video where is our video i'm like chill chill it's coming <laughs> okay so guys yeah i'm super glad to be back i'm so glad that i can you know come back here and make a video i can smile and whatever I am so so excited and i can't wait for you guys to see what i have in store for you guys thank you so much for love thank you for thank you for always supporting me i love you guys besitos bye love you guys